for a mother who left her child home alone to die while the mom vacationed in Puerto Rico. This one is going to make all you parents out there so angry you'll be seeing red. Imagine you go on vacation. Then imagine you go on vacation for 10 days to Puerto Rico. Now imagine that you left your 16-month-old daughter at home, alone, in a crib, with no food and no water for those 10 days. Animals take care of their infants better. The thought of this child dying every day while she's having fun, humanity can't stomach that. The judge passed down a sentence of life in prison without the possibility of parole. The judge said this sentence will put her in a cell until she dies just like she put her child in that crib to die. The only difference is the Department of Corrections would at least give her food and water. You committed the ultimate act of betrayal, leaving your baby terrified, alone, unprotected, to suffer what I heard was the most gruesome death imaginable with no food, no water, no protection, and lying in her own feces. You decided you needed a vacation. And what followed was absolute depravity. You left your baby, Jalen, trapped in a pack and play without food and water for 10 days. This wasn't simply an oversight. You could have saved Jalen's life many times. You could have found someone to watch her while you were gone. You could have taken her with you. While you were in Detroit or Puerto Rico, you could have called someone in Cleveland and told them that Jalen needed help. Dr. Mooney indicated that rigor mortis was found when they found her, which means she hasn't been, she didn't die that long before you came home. Think about that. Despite all of her suffering, that little baby persevered, waiting for someone to save her. And you could have done that with a simple phone call. On count one, aggravated murder, I'm going to sentence you to life in prison without the possibility of parole. On count five, I'm going to sentence you to eight years to run concurrent to count one. It's an evil world we live in.